this. Feminine caring, I don't think so, but they certainly do uh, think it is necessary to be some sort of a sex kitten, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, I was, I mean, I was never a nun either, and I know that, uh, I think as, a, as an artist, you have this narcissistic, uh, you know, part of, there is a very narcissistic part of yourself. And so you want people to look at you, you want to be admired, you want to be recognized as a person, you want... And so, of course, when you uh, wear sexy uh, clothes, uh, uh, people, I mean, mostly men, but also women sometimes, will, will look at you more than if you are some sort of, uh, you know, uh, how could I say... Uh, uh, that if you are if you are dressed in an, an unobfalent and in a uh, discreet way, mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. but of course, I mean you know it's a, it's a weird message because um, when you look at, at videos now and you see all these uh, women who are super super sexy, you know, just like you know, moving, shaking their bums and uh, you know showing their tits and stuff like that, I find that it's a bit weird. Uh, that uh, in one way they claim their independence and on, on the other hand they need to exist showing that, you know? I think there are other ways to, to exist and, and to show your body uh, off. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I did the same thing. I did it. And I remember when we played in South Africa, um, my musicians were at the uh, hotel bar and they met the South African man, and he was, they were talking, and he said, uh, yeah, what are you doing here? And they said, well, we are musicians. We are the musicians of Vaya uh, And he said, oh, he said, uh, is that that woman who is uh, sitting on that chair with that sexy dress, uh, you know, that sexy woman? Uh, and they said, yes. And he said, well, I wonder, and he said, is the name Vaya does that does that mean go with God? And they say, yeah, well, he said, I wonder what God has to do with that sexy uh, thing on that chair, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, when they, when they told me this, the comment that this man made, I was like, you know, it made me still for a while. And I thought, well, with God or without God, I don't care. I'm not a believer. But uh, indeed, what kind of message do you give? As if you could only exist as a singer while being super sexy. And when you see women like Madonna, Rihanna, Lady Gaga, Beyonce, who are like the most famous artists at the moment, that is exactly what uh, they are showing. They are showing uh, the super sexy aspect of their uh, personality. Often, often confused with, with girl power. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Yeah? What is the message there? You know, you see Madonna, she looks like a very strong woman who knows exactly what she wants. And, uh, and then on the other hand, in order to get all that attention, she has to be extremely provocative. And so I think, yes, we have the right to... Uh, maybe that is the statement they are trying to make, is that even if you are independent and even if you uh, have a career, you still are entitled to have a, a sexual life and you can also exist as such. But still, I don't know, I still don't know how to interpret that, their message. I really don't know how to place it.